guys, it's Mrs. B. I'm Mr. All right, hi guys. Wow, it's so good to see you. Can you believe it's a new year, 2021? We're praying that this is going to be a much better year than last year. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and now we're celebrating a happy new year. So excited. So you remember the last time we had our video, we said we were going to work on the armor of God, right? That's right. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> we did. So we're just going to kind of go over the armor of God and then in the next few weeks, why we need the armor and what parts of the armor are we wearing? What are they and how do they protect us? So we really need to know why do we wear protection? Why do we need armor? It's to protect us. Well, it's to protect ourselves. And what do we need protection from? from the enemy <laughs> well, or the enemies right well yeah. who are these enemies who are the enemy it's the devil right it is the devil and the devil has many schemes he is out here to get us and trip us up and so why do we need this protection and that's the reason why a lot of times the devil can use people but really we need to know who the real enemy is and that is the devil so what is this armor that god has given us well the armor it's it's our spiritual armor against the forces that we're fighting right and if we fight with our own strength uh, Will we be able to fight off these these schemes? No, you need real armor. We need real armor. And with, in our own strength, we can't do it. Maybe you can do it for a little while, but it doesn't last for very long. And so we learn how to, like when you go to the gym, you learn how to build those muscles. Well, we learn how to be spiritually strong with our armor. And how do we do that? We need to know what it is and how to use it. One thing it is, if I put on the armor, but then I don't know how to use it, it's not going to really be helpful, right? Mm -mm, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. So first, let's kind of go over the armor of God. So number one, we have the belt of truth. truth. The belt of truth. And that is buckled around our waist. Then we have the breastplate of righteousness. righteousness. Breastplate light of righteousness and then we have our feet are fitted with the gospel of peace yeah. peace then we have our shield oh, of, right. of faith oh, of faith. faith right <laughs> our shield of faith oh, right the strength uh, i don't think we have the strength though we have the helmet of salvation, salvation right mm -hmm. we have the helmet of salvation and we also have the sword of the spirit. spirit. Yes, mm -hmm. the sword of the spirit, right? Which is the word of God. And all of that is powered by prayer. So, wow, those are all of our armor of God. And that's what helps us. So when you are in the dark um, and sometimes you feel afraid, some of those things we can use right well in the dark sometimes we're afraid of enemies right we're afraid of maybe monsters or things that scare us but what what part of the armor of god could we use maybe we could use the belt of truth the belt of truth helps us to know what is true and what is not true so we know there really aren't any monsters right and so knowing that it helps us to fight off those fears right knowing the truth is so important and what else do we have when we're scared we know that we can always count on the Lord. And in Ephesians, it says, in 6.10, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord in his mighty power. And God has power to help us to be strong enough to face our fears. So it doesn't matter how much strength we have. We know that God gives us ultimate strength. And so next week, we're going to be talking about more about the armor of God. Uh, but today we learned how powerful it is that God is our power and he is our strength. And no matter what, what, uh, what happens to us, God is able to protect us. And we can always turn to our friends and our family. But ultimately, Jesus is the one who helps us and empowers us. And we're going to learn more 
more about the belt of truth and all of the other parts that we have and so and then we're going to learn about how to resist the devil next week we're going to learn how to resist the devil and all of his schemes and we're going to go over the verse uh in ephesians that talks about that okay so today we're going to talk to our friends about how they need to put on the armor of god what do you Good to see you guys again. Are you guys afraid sometimes? Oh, you are. What What are you afraid of? Oh, you don't like the dark. The dark is scary, right? And what do you do when you get become afraid? You talk to God. You You do, and you talk to God, and you tell Him about your fears. And what does He do? He gives you peace. A peace, a lots of peace, right? And then you're able to sleep without being afraid. That's so awesome. You guys are doing really well. And, oh, wait a second. Oh, 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 we gotta go, guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. Happy New Happy Year. New Year guys. Behave we'll yourselves. See you week, we'll, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm stand firm therefore having girded your loins with the truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace in addition to all taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God with all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the spirit that is in view. Amen.